Hi Aquarius, I am here to do your weekly reading. Let's get a couple of cards from the Spirit Animal Oracle as your overall energy. You have the Peacock Spirit. Let it shine. It's beautiful. Let's get one more. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. It's kind of interesting that they're both birds of a totally different kind. One's a beautiful peacock, one's a vulture. It's interesting. Okay, let's see what your current energies are. You have the Three of Wands. This energy is kind of like a midpoint energy where you've already created something, done something, and you put it out there and you're waiting for it to come back. Your ships are out there. You're waiting for them to come in. It's also one of, it's probably a good idea to get out of your comfort zone. So let's see what your challenge is. choices. The two of swords. But if you look at her, she has on a blindfold. She is not well informed about the choices that she needs to make. She needs to take off the blindfold so she can make well informed choices. So that is your challenge for the week. Take off that blindfold so you can make informed decisions. All right. And now for your focus. The hermit. Retreating. You're like at the top of the mountain. Going inside. Spending alone time. To find out what is spiritually true for you. Find out answers. You're on a path of spiritual knowledge and self-discovery. So you need to retreat from everyday life, go within, and you will discover the clarity that you seek. Okay, so that's your focus. Now let's go on to the recent past. The moon. All right. The moon can mean a variety of things. It depends on what cards come out with it. One, it could be deception. One can be enlightenment. The one that I typically go with, if I were just to pull that card by itself, as you see, there's a pathway here. One side's good, one is bad. It's what you feed. If you feed the good side, the good side will grow. If you feed the bad side, the bad side will grow. Whichever side you do not feed will wither and die. So feed the good side. But it definitely also has to do with using your intuition. And so that was past energy. Let's see what your strength or strengths are this week. Putting yourself in hangman mode. Okay. It's a little bit different, but it's kind of similar to the hermit. You are deliberately taking yourself out, putting yourself in kind of an isolated mode to seek enlightenment. Okay. And that, you know, can relate back to this, definitely to this and to this, maybe even to this, to all of it. Okay, let's see uh, the future here. What is the future for Aquarius? This card has been coming out a lot. Okay, 
that can mean a few different things. The Four of Pentacles can mean that you're holding on tightly. Of course, this is about Pentacles, so holding on tightly, you know, being concerned about expenditures, budgeting, that sort of thing. But I think it can also, depending on the other cards it's with, could mean holding on too tightly to whatever you would know. It's kind of general reading, so, you know, I don't know, but you would. Is there something that you are holding on too tightly to? Okay, let's see how to go about this. Suggested course of action. Queen of Cups. All right. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful energy. She is a very nurturing, motherly energy. And she really cares. Her heart is totally involved. So that is really how you should go forward this week. Using your loving energy. Okay, now let's see what you need to know. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That is the Nine of Pentacles, which is you feeling totally satisfied with your situation and yourself. Very abundant, very happy, very content. Which, so that's just beautiful. Okay, let's do your hopes and fears. <laughs> Another wonderful energy right on top of each other. Both of them nines and both of them beautiful. The nine of cups is like this one, only this one talks more about being totally happy. This is about total abundance and self-satisfaction. This is total happiness. Both of those are great energies. Okay, and the potential outcome. Oh me, oh my. That is the Ten of Swords, which is dead, done, and over with. Okay? That is a painful ending of some sort. And being swords, those can be thoughts or thoughts from things, thoughts um, that about anything. It can be about something that's happened to you or it can just be about you stressing about certain things. You know, in here, it's talking about the future, how you are holding on very tightly. And this one refers to pentacles. So it could be that money is an issue. But let's get some more clarification. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay, let's clarify your current energy. The Knight of Pentacles. It's a very good energy to have. Okay. Let's see if I can scoot this over a little on my... Help you be able to see a little better. Okay. Here is, like I said, the midpoint. You need to get out of your comfort zone potentially, but you've put something out there and you're waiting for the results. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but I would say probably the most thorough. He is a very good implementer, planner, he makes for sure everything is done correctly and thoroughly. So this could really be enhancing this. You know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. And it looks like you are being very thorough with it. And making for sure that you're um, dotting all your I's, crossing all your T's, doing everything you need to do to get the best results possible. Now let's 
find out about the Two of Swords, which is your challenge. Okay, the Hierophant. That is learning from an official source of some sort. And so it, it actually, I think, fits really well with this card. This card is saying that you have decisions you need to make, but you don't have the information. You have a blindfold on. Take off the blindfold and learn about your choices. All right? And that will help you make a very good decision. It's... um. Not impossible, but it's very hard to make a good decision when you don't know about each issue. So learn about it, then you can make a well-informed decision. Okay, how about your focus now? Oops, we have one that fell. Let me get that. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. That is total family happiness everything is wonderful and that's your focus going within finding the answers that you seek and i would say it's so you can create this beautiful happiness for the ones that you care about as well as yourself okay let's check out your past energy of the moon see if we get any more for that Whoa, you cannot take that many. That was like a bazillion. Okay, we got two. The Six of Pentacles, which is a beautiful energy. Six of Pentacles talks about being generous with others or them being generous with you. It's kind of a give and take energy. Also, the Nine of Pentacles, and you have that right here. So that is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Total happiness, abundance, self-satisfaction, that sort of energy, which is really a beautiful energy. So you had that in the past, recent past, and it looks like it's carrying on through still. So that's great. Okay, let's check out your strengths. You have the hangman. Let's see what we get now. Page of Cups. That's also a very nice energy. The Page of Cups, all pages are youthful, full of drive and the belief that anything is possible. And the Page of Cups, of course, has to do with love. So it could be learning how to communicate in a caring way, um, potentially new love, art, something artistic, an artistic endeavor, that sort of thing. All right, now let's take a card for the future. We got, I pulled two again. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm glad these are coming out because they're both beautiful energies. This one, not so much. This one is. The Queen of Pentacles, I love her energy. She has figured out how to be like the perfect parent. Or, well, perfect might be a strong word, but a wonderful parent. How's that? She divides her time in such a way that she makes great abundance, lots of pentacles, but also has a great family life. She's figured out how to divide it up so she spends quality time with her family and quality time creating her pentacles. It's great energy. And here you have the magician. And remember, these are your future energies, okay? This is saying you have everything you need. You don't need to go anywhere to get what it is you want. With practicality and magic, you're doing this. So that's a wonderful energy. Okay, now let's go into 
the suggested course of action, how to go about this. Hmm. This one's been coming out a lot too lately. The Seven of Swords. It can have a few different meanings, but probably in this case, I would say, at least from what the information is at here, this person is doing everything. Yeah. They are doing everything for everybody, and they cannot keep that pace up. They need to put down all these swords. And sometimes you have to put yourself first in order to achieve what it is that you need to achieve. You know, if you're not good to yourself, it's very hard to be good to others. So, be loving and be loving to yourself as well. Okay? Sometimes you need to put yourself first. So I believe that that's what this is meaning here. Okay, now let's find out more about what you need to know. Which is the Nine of Pentacles. We have it twice. Three of Cups. Celebration. It's a celebratory energy. Or, and or, one of collaboration with others. So maybe it's saying that, you know, especially if you look down here, maybe delegate or work together, collaborate, instead of trying to do it all yourself. And hopes and fears, you have the Nine of Cups. Let's see what we can add to that. Hmm. We have just made a full circle. <laughs> right where we started. The Three of Wands. Kind of a midpoint energy. Get out of your comfort zone. You're waiting for your ships to come in, but you might need to get out of your comfort zone, take some sort of action instead of standing back and waiting. Okay? Now let's see if we can get more clarification on the potential outcome. Because that potential outcome up there doesn't look so special. It's not so happy. You have a lot of great cards in here, but you need to find out more about that. Ah, okay. Well, this goes perfectly with it. Death, which that just means transformation. That means you are getting out of this energy right here. Dead, done, and over with is what that is. And going into something new. All right. Let's take some cards from the universe to see if they have something to add. And depending on what the outcome of that is, if it explains it, great. If not, we might take one more card. All right. So here, let's see what the universe has to say. Okay. The Eight of Swords comes before this. This leads to this, or can very well lead to it. It is where you are very heavily burdened with your thoughts, so much so that you are bound and you have a blindfold on. So does she. But the answer to this is take off these bindings. They're very loose. She can just slide out of them. And the blindfold. And then you will see that these thoughts are exactly that. They are thoughts. They might be thoughts from things that have happened, or they just could potentially be thoughts that you are focused on, that you are stressed about, which could be potentially this. Or this. Take off the blindfold and take off those bindings. And you will be able to see these swords for what they are. And 
get rid of them. And then you will be able to also see that if you turn around, there's your castle. And you can walk to it. And that castle is your happiness. Okay? So let's take another card from the universe. Beautiful. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Right there is the Nine of Pentacles. There is a Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You have had that confirmed by the universe. And that, let me tell you, does not happen very often. Three times in one reading. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think it's saying, deal with this, and you'll have this, all right? The transformation will bring this in. But you have to take care of this. This has gotten to the point, or could potentially get to the point, of causing an ending of something. And not a happy ending, okay? If you take these off now... You'll be able to see what they are. And they are something that is definitely workable. You can deal with these, whether they are from something that's happened or just from your thoughts. You'll be able to deal with it. And you won't have to have this. You will be able to have your Nine of Pentacles. And don't get me wrong, uh, depending on all the variables... That can be an extremely challenging task. I think most of us have been through something like that in some point of our lives, and it sometimes is pretty easy. Other times, it can be very challenging. Okay, let's take one more card and see what we get. All right. We have the Hierophant, and that is also here in your challenge position. So what I think the universe is saying here is, take these off, learn about it, learn about what's going on here, what's causing these swords. Once you learn about it, you will know how to deal with these. And remove them from your life. So you will be able to turn around. Go up to your castle. Which is where you will find. Your nine of pentacles. Okay. I really don't think we need to take another card. Because this is explaining this. And this. This is like I said transformation. You deal with this. You're not going to have to have that. You'll be able to go in into your nine of pentacles. Which is here, past, present, and future. So the Nine of Pentacles is with you and will stay with you. Just deal with these swords. Take off the bindings, the blindfolds. Look at what they are and if you need to learn about them. And learning about them can be going to an official source of some kind to learn. It can also be going to your higher self. Only you would know. But, which I think is kind of fascinating here. In the past, you had the Nine of Pentacles. Present, you have the Nine of Pentacles. In the future, you'll have your Nine of Pentacles, which is an absolutely beautiful energy to be in. Just deal with this. Okay. Let's get a charm. See what comes up for you. I don't look, so I never know. What does it say? Did not read it. Huh. It says friendship. Maybe you can read that. I think that would be best right here on the Three of Cups. Maybe that is saying you have friends that can help you with this. And if they are trusted friends and good friends, they might know what's you know what's going on enough to where they can help you through this to help you 
tear down these swords. Okay. Don't forget the peacock spirit. Let it shine. And the vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Even this. Okay. That going through that, you will learn. You will have wisdom. And maybe at some point you can help others. And definitely you'll be able to help yourself. You'll be wise and know what not to do. Or what to do. Okay. Have a great week. Love and light. Bye.